Five people, including two children, are recovering following a shooting and a car crash in Beltsuver earlier tonight. Kim Gable is live tonight with more on what happened. Kim. Two men, a driver and a passenger, both of them shot in the back. The question is, who pulled the trigger and where? So, yes, definitely several victims in this case, but so far, no suspects have been named. First, the sound of gunfire. Then a couple of blocks away, the screeching tires of a car speeding down Beltsuver Avenue. And then it just crashed. Investigators say the impact led to chaos. It crashed into a light pole, uh, hit a parked, unoccupied vehicle, and another vehicle that contained a uh, family, a husband, a wife, and a child. The family was in that car in the middle. As neighbors ran to help them, the driver of the speeding car took off and later collapsed. Both he and the passenger transported with gunshot wounds. I seen a lady laying on the ground across the street from me, and she was trying to get up, and I told her, no, just stay there. And I rubbed her hand and laid her there until don't move until the paramedics came. Downed wires fell into leaking fuel. First responders told everyone to back away. It's pretty concerning. I'm, you know, it's, you can see all the kids out at this time of day. There's kids getting off their school buses from after school activities. A community of concerned neighbors and numerous potential witnesses. So we're going to try to talk to as many people as we can, look at whatever kind of surveillance video and put together a bigger picture of what happened. So that woman who was laying on the ground who neighbors ran to help, she is listed in stable condition tonight at the hospital. Uh, the child and the man who were in that car, they only suffered minor injuries. The two men who were shot are listed in critical but stable condition at the hospital tonight. So still a lot of questions for detectives here. We're live at police headquarters. Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.